Alrighty, ham and eggers and loyal subscribers, I seem to have hit a bit of an issue. Um, <laughs> in case there's bloody new laptops, spacebar didn't stuff up, and that wasn't enough of the pain in the ass typing away and going bang, bang, bang every time I got to hit the spacebar. The uh, <clears throat> camera I generally use here, which is in the middle of a Bluetooth transfer. Um, that's me 320 by 240 pixel. YouTube is not detecting the audio. Now, I can play back. Some of you might have seen and uh, mentioned in the uh, Chinese banking collapse video um, that you were getting no audio. Those of you who sometimes watch back your own videos in Windows or particularly after you've gone through a YouTube video editor uh, and you go publish and then it comes up bang sit tight your you know this video is processed and blah blah um, you got your little improvement video uh, little improvement buttons underneath your main video screen and um, you can click those to get lighting improvements and I clicked the audio improvement one because I couldn't get it to play the audio as some of you guys mentioned in the comments. Now when I went in to edit audio, you know what? Started playing the audio fine. So I said, okay then, save as uh, or, you know, save as a as same video and it's, it said something along the lines of uh, your viewers will see um, the old type until the reprocessing of the audio is done and when the reprocessing of the audio is done guess what no change it was still blank and every single damn video I've done on that camera since has had no audio but I can play the audio back on the camera itself I can play it back on my tablet and I wouldn't be terribly surprised although I haven't tried it yet that I could play it back on my laptop so I uploaded a bunch of crap today only to find that none of it had any blasted audio. <clears throat> On that I've got at least another two My Off Grid Lifes uh, coming up but the uh, Church Garden a Day and all that pfft, it was just crap, it's all blank. Uh, I do have a file conversion thing that I used to use for this other camera now all of you, and I know there's a couple of new people, this comes up a million times over, I'm sick to death of answering it. Link, why don't you get a better camera? Well, what does that say there? HD, HD video. Yeah, it's a HD camera, and it used to work fine, uh, but the image stabilisation really started screwing up. When you had image stabilisation on, it would actually start shaking the hell out of image. It was like twitching the image. Um, anyway, I slammed the uh, little um, viewfinder closed a little bit too hard one day, and that no longer works. It will still record, but you can't see what you're bloody recording. I went up to record the snow, and I had it zoomed in too far, so everything was out of focus. Anyway, seems a lot of this tech is all turning to shit fast. This phone I am on is the only bloody thing that is still running, and uh, it's going to be superseded in uh, <laughs> April anyway, and I won't be able to use it for recording at all, most likely, because I don't believe it'll run without a SIM card, and it won't have any SIM cards by April and uh, next year and maybe not even then because I now work in the capital and have a bit of time in the mornings and apparently there's actually a, a phone dealership very close to where I work that is the same one and I might get my number changed over to a new phone and get a new phone. Um, but uh, for the meantime this is the only real good option I've got and I'm going to try to convert I had a conversion for that because that makes huge files um, to convert it from massive MPEG-4 files down to more realistic sized FLV files and I'm going to use that same conversion software which is on the laptop uh, with this little thing once it's finished transferring there and see if I can get the audio back because YouTube might recognize it 
in a different format other than the MPEG-4, which I usually just take straight off the phone, put onto the tablet and uh, via Bluetooth and upload. Um, but uh, anyway, at the moment, uh, it seems <laughs> the old phone that I'm on now that I bought in 2005 is the only camera that actually works with both audio and video where I can actually see something in the viewfinder. Wouldn't it screw you, hey? But anyway, that's what you get when you buy a Sony, a bit of reliability. It's a pity I can't say the same for said little Panasonic over there, which might be uh, destined towards the bin sooner rather than later. Um, and uh, praise the Lord for Samsung Android tablets, because this thing has no problems whatsoever of any sort, except for the little crack that time it fell off the shelf. Anyways, just thought I'd let you guys uh, know what's going on, regardless of that I, you know, still have a few microgrid lives to upload. Um, I don't know. Oh, there's one or two other bits and pieces as well. Um, so there we go. I'll see how it all uh, pans out, but uh, what videos you do see um, are going to be... <laughs> about two weeks old. Um, but I'll sort of tell you what's going on at the moment. Um, yeah, and hopefully I can go and get myself a new camera and that will play ball and, you know, it'll upload and YouTube will bloody will recognise it. How the hell can I recognise something that's 3GP files out of a phone from 2005 and yet a phone out of 2010, it doesn't want to flame and recognise. Although it has been for flame and last year or two, anyway. Who knows? Anyways, that's what's going down.